we are back again at the thrift bookstore. Hopefully this will go better than last time. I didn't find a single thing last time, but you know what? My, I've regained my hope because someone else came and found exactly the book that I was looking for. Not only did they find the book, they found seven copies of the book. So I obviously just didn't look in the right spot. Um, I'm back to look for books for March. I definitely know I'm getting Crime and Punishment. I started the audiobook already. Uh, gotta get my book club pick. It's the hotel on the corner of, hotel on the corner, hotel on the corner of Bitter and Sweet. There we go. And then besides that, I think I'm kinda just gonna randomly find things that I've been wanting to read for like the springtime. So we'll see what's in there. Because like I said last time, I have so much store credit here and the books are so cheap. So it's like, I better be coming back with a haul this time. So it's the next day. It's actually so nice outside. So I think the plan is I'm gonna go to my parents so I can walk my dog, maybe do some homework outside. Just spring vibes all around. But I did wanna update. Ended up picking up the girl with the dragon tattoo from the thrift store. I got it for $1.50, what? And I also got the kite runner for 50 cents which is insane. And I feel like those are two books that used to be so popular and I just happen to not have read. So hopefully I will be catching up on the hype for those. <laughs> oh, I also got my book club book for like $4. That was a good find. And then, oh, I found uh, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. So I'm starting that series. We'll see how it goes. A little nervy, a little excited. Uh, I think that one was $8, just because it's so popular. But yeah, all around it was a great little thrift run. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to get some reading done outside too, so see you there. Look how pretty it is though. It was so gloomy yesterday. Can you even see? So today has been the prettiest, like one of the first days of spring. So excited. I hate the cold, unless it's gonna snow, but unfortunately it never does here. 
But yeah, as you saw, I just like sat outside. I did my homework. It's about to be spring break. The sun was out, just all the vibes. Okay, it's night now. So it's probably gonna be, oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna be really cold. It's like 70 degrees still. Anyways, also I got my nails done. I brought it up in another video, but I'm gonna show it off twice because they were like twice as expensive as they usually are, so. Anyways, I'm taking advantage of the weather and I'm gonna go for a vibey Barnes & Noble night. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drive there with the windows down. You can't tell me that driving at night with the windows down when it's warm for like one of the first times, that's probably me in my happiest, most content state. And then when I come out of Barnes & Noble, it's still gonna be pretty warm and I'm not gonna wanna die because it's winter unheard of who is she but yeah i just filmed my spring tbr and i have so many more books to get than i thought but i do think i'm gonna hold back and i'm just gonna get maybe a couple of them tonight because i do want to get some when i'm in boston because there's a lot of really cool bookshops and libraries and all that good stuff there so i want to leave some wiggle room as far as like the books that i'm reading next month but I'm excited. I think I'm going to get my first manga book today. Manga? Manga? Somebody please tell me. I literally know nothing. And then I think I might either get Beach Read, Lucky, or My Sister's Keeper. I think I might have to get My Sister's Keeper because I'm going to be too excited to read the other two and I want to wait until I go to the beach in April for that one. But anyways, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so many people in there um i got nervous to film though it's literally a saturday at 7 20 but so many people oh my gosh i put my hair up because it's so warm outside why am i wearing a hoodie i don't know um and i look bald <laughs> watch look okay cute oh she's got like a little top knot going on bald Moving forward, um, haul, book haul. Okay, of course, got my book club pick. Got it for $4. It's the Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. That's the spine. And then, whoop, whoop, whoop. and that's it without the dust cover on. I like it. I like the like the burgundy with like the it's like a cream i'm actually so surprised that i did find this one because the area that it was in was not where it was supposed to be but i just ended up looking for a different book that was in the same area and saw it it was just meant to be okay next we know i found throne of glass for eight dollars proud of the bargain next up again we've got kite runner 50 cents since i got this one and the girl with the dragon tattoo for like a dollar i have a video idea for these so i'm curious to see if anyone is going to guess what it is but i'm not going to tell you and it's going to include another book um okay so this is what i got from barnes and noble I'm actually so excited for this. I had a friend at work recommend me this series. Um, I saw her reading it and she said that it was amazing and I told her I wanted to start getting into this. So she recommended me the Vinland Saga. And so this is, this is book one. So the only thing that I kind of didn't like is that they only sell them or at least I only saw them in hardback. And there's like 25 of these so far. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they're still being written. So I would have loved a paperback. But look at how gorgeous this, like, first page is. All of it's uh, black and white except for, like, these two pages at the beginning. Look how gorgeous this is. And I just think it's so cool. Like, you've got to read it, like, right to left. And 
the whole thing so I'll read it like I actually did start I'm like 20 pages in which is basically nothing but yeah so you read it from like here like that I'm excited to just get into different stuff and I feel like it'll be cool like when people that I don't know come over and they look at my bookshelf and they're like oh my gosh is that a Vinland saga and I'll be like yeah what you know about it because I know about I know about book one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. It, saying it out loud, it felt like such a smaller haul than it actually was because I got out of the habit of buying the books that I wanted to read in general and just buying the books that I'm going to read next. So that way I don't have this massive stack of books that I haven't read yet, but I want to read something else first. But now I feel like I might be slipping into that again because I just want to buy all of them. Because, like, this is, okay, what? It's, like, five books, but still. This is a lot, this is a lot of shelf space. This is a lot of content going on. <laughs> all right, well, I will see you guys next time. I'm about to go to Boston. Oh, my gosh. So, look out for a Boston vlog with my girly, Carly. Charlie. Love her. And we're going to soft bully her into making a booktube because she also loves books. Have a great night. Have a great day. Whatever. Morning. Afternoon. I will see you next time.